Hey everybody, we're uh, working on our bus again today. It's a Thomas built safety liner 2004 with a rear engine. Uh, we're going to be working on the floor. It's 2005. What? It's a 2004. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was a 2005. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Victoria's saying five, I'm saying four. Um, anyway, we're working on our floor today. We're going to try to get all this rust off. You can see all the rust here. Uh, and we're going to be grinding away. I am Victoria. And I'm Rory. And these are our two dogs, Misty and Kida. And we live in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. We are converting our 2004 Thomas bus, named Freedom 25, into our home on wheels so that we can get out, explore, adventure, and do more of the things we love. Because experiences are more sacred than materials. We're just trying to get all the extra goop and stuff that's around the sides of the bus off before we grind so we can get at all the rust. Sandpaper discs for the grinder. Uh, I have one really big one here, uh, and then Victoria is going to try out this little guy, and we're going to see how it goes. I haven't done anything like this before, so we'll see how it works. We'll let you know. Ready to go. All right. There's yours. There's mine. We should get some power cords going. Here's your equipment. <laughs> You can't forget your safety specs, gotta have them. If you can believe it, this is some of the stuff that we've already grinded and got rid of what we can on the rust. And this next section still needs to be done. You can see this middle section here where the aisleway was is pretty bad. There's one little panel that we just did a tester on. We have some pretty bad rust around the wheel wells. You can see some of this cracking here. I'm gonna need to do a bit of patchwork. You can also see there's a hole there. Here's the difference between this side which has not been ground down and this side which has. So we're hoping that we can use some kind of rust treatment to put on this and neutralize the rust that we have. And then we're gonna paint it. It was a pretty dusty job doing this. We're, uh, we got a pretty dusty bus right now. And I even have very dusty arms. And here you go. I have very dusty arms. We've got the floor grinded now, and uh, I'm gonna vacuum up here. We're gonna use a rust converter, let it sit 24 hours, and then we're gonna wash it off tomorrow, and then we're putting a coat of paint on. So, pretty excited about that. Uh, as you can see behind me here, it's pretty dusty, so I'm gonna start vacuuming.
done, nice and clean. We're ready to put the rust converter on. Originally we had thought we were going to use a product called Ospo. Uh, we've done some research on it, but it turns out we can't find it in our area and we weren't willing to wait to get it from, from Amazon or some online retailer like that. So uh, we picked up something from our local Lord Co. Uh, that does probably about the same thing. Um, I'm hoping it works nicely for us. It's uh, called Metal Rescue. Uh, it comes in this, this one gallon jug here. And basically it's, it's supposed to be for a bath, like you're supposed to put it in a container and then dip your parts in and leave them for an hour, take them out, clean them off. But uh, I don't think we'll be dipping our bus in this. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is pour this on some of the really bad spots and try to get rid of the rust. Uh, when I pour this on, I'm going to also use a concrete broom, like a stiff bristle. You can see it's pretty stiff here. You probably see the dust coming out of it even from uh, sweeping up all the crap on the floor. Uh, just, to, just to get that in there and hopefully get it into the rust so this metal rescue can do its job. I'm going to start here at the back of our bus. This is kind of one of our problem areas as you can see uh, just underneath the broom there. Here, let me move it for you. There's a nice patch that I've done as much I've done as much grinding as I can on that and it just won't come out. So uh, I'll start there and see how this stuff works. seems to be sitting nicely on that rust and in the meantime I'm gonna go up to the front and do the same thing so that's just soaking in uh, I'll just show you probably why I'm not gonna to touch the center of the bus here uh, you can see it's it's pretty cleaned up like there's a little pathway uh, here where the center aisle of the bus was that's got a little bit of rust nothing I'm worried about but look at the front of the bus where all the little kids come in with their soaking wet feet and they just destroyed this thing. We live up in Canada and winters are brutal on these buses. Um, we bought this bus during the COVID-19 pandemic and we just did not have an option to go to the United States to pick up a rust free bus. So we just bit the bullet and bought one here from Canada. Well, sorry, it's getting a little dark here. Um, working late tonight. Uh, I've let this sit for about a half an hour now. And I'm just going to see what happens when I brush it around. See if it's grabbing any of that rust or not yet. Alright. Grabbing my bristly broom. to let this stuff sit overnight and I'll come back in the morning and we'll see what happens. It's the morning now and looks like most of this stuff has kind of dried up. Uh, doesn't really look like it's done much but I think the active chemical in it should prevent any further rust. Um, you can see here at the back right there where it's dried up and it's kind of yellow so we're gonna get a bucket and some cloths and we're gonna just clean this all up so we can paint it today we've got the floor of the bus all cleaned up ready for paint uh, we picked out a paint 
from Canadian Tire. It's an uh, armor coat, rust paint. It's an interior, exterior paint. We just picked whatever color. Uh, this was on sale. I think it was $40 Canadian. Uh, and just a roller with a broom handle attached so I can just stand up and roll it out. Uh, something to open the can. Something to mix the paint. And then we just got this throwaway brush here which we're going to uh, just do the edges with. Stuff that the roller can't get into. How we're going to do it is we're going to start from the back and paint our way out so we don't have to walk on our wet paint. Here we go! painting our floor of our bus. Uh, it was a really nice summer day today. It was a perfect temperature for painting the bus. It was around 20 degrees Celsius and sunny. It's clear skies today. Uh, next up on the bus is going to be uh, is we need to still frame in the windows and then we're gonna do some sheet metal. Uh, hopefully this video has helped you on your schoolie build or any of our other videos have helped you on your schoolie build. Uh, so don't forget to like us and subscribe to our channel down below and hit that bell icon so the next videos we have coming up you get a notification and you can watch them as well. Follow us on Instagram at freedom25bus for more up-to-date information and some cool pictures of all the painting we did today.